Hey guys, Soupy's Games here. Today I'm bringing you a video on all the locations for all of the summoning altar pieces. I spent a lot of time getting gameplay footage so I show you exactly what it looks like in the exact spot that you'll find it every single time. If this video helps you at all, don't forget to drop a like. Also subscribe for more in the future. I'm gonna provide some quality content showing you all the cool stuff about this map. So now let's do this. First, what you want to do is make your way over to the origins area from the starting room. You want to run up this path right here, follow the way I'm going, and right here on the sandbags you see the flag here. That's the first location of the first summoning altar piece. Second location is found up this ramp right in here. It is right next to this rock on your way to Mob of the Dead. That's the second location for the first piece there. The third and final location for the flag is actually down here from the altar. You open this door up in the Mob of the Dead area, and it's right here on the wall. Now, all of these pieces sometimes have a problem spawning in. It's there. You might not be able to see it, so give it a second before you run away to look at the other spots. The second piece is found from jumping from the starting room over to Shangri-La, you go into Der Eisendrach, you come into this room, and there will be a crystal in this barrel, a purple crystal. You want to pick that up. That's the first location for the second piece. The second location for the crystal is from the altar in Der Eisendrach. You head your way over to that pyramid, and there is the piece right there. It's the second location for the second piece there. The third location, if you follow my direction here, this is Kino. You run all the way to the other side of Kino. Run up this ramp. You go out and on this table, you'll see the third location for the purple crystal. The third and final piece is found after you make the jump from Kino to Verukt. You come in this room here and on the shelf on the right is the Skull of Nansapwe altarpiece. First location. The second location of the Skull of Non Sopwe is up these stairs, go around this cage, go into this room, you go to the left right here, you make another left, and in this wheelchair right here is the second location for the Skull of Non Sopwe. The third and final location for the Skull of Non Sopwe, follow my path right here. You want to actually can go straight, make a left, make another left here, and in that wheelchair down the hall, right there, is the final spot that it'll spawn in the map. So there we have it. All three pieces, all three locations for each piece. The last step is to go to one of these altars, and you press square on it, and you'll build the summoning altar, which is really cool. Because then what you can do with it as you walk over to it, it costs 5,000 points. You summon the Keeper Protector. He spawns in right there, you see. And then he just does work on the zombies. Here I am trying not to kill too many zombies. And you see him just doing work like crazy. Now, you still have to be careful. He still uh, can get hit by zombies. He's not protecting you fully. It's just like the Civil Protector from Shadows of Evil. He does work, but, you know, watch your back. Anyways, there you have it. I know that there's a Keeper Mask as well. I've seen it on Twitter. Basically, how I think you get it is you get a bunch of kills with this Keeper Protector. In this gameplay right here, actually, we get a bunch of kills with the Keeper, and it makes this notification sound. When it makes that sound, I think it's supposed to give you the hat here in Kino, and that's why I built it here so that I could see. On mine, it doesn't actually work. The mask isn't there when I go to check. It's supposed to be on this dummy right there. So I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if it's glitched or if there's some other step that you need for it. As far as the effects of the Keeper Helmet, it adds one plus hit from zombies, so it gives you that upgraded Jug perk. 50% damage reduction from Enslaved Keepers. Player does 33% more damage to Enslaved Keepers. Keeper Protector lasts 30 seconds longer. So it's pretty cool. It adds a little bit. It's not the greatest of the helmets. There's quite a few helmets out there, masks and whatever you want to call them. I got this image, by the way, from Jay Skeleton. He released a tutorial on how to do this, and I've included a link in the description below. So go check his channel out. He's released massive amounts of Revelations content already. 
So uh, go definitely check him out. Thanks, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the support that you guys have showed me. If this video was helpful, please drop a like rating. Also, subscribe if you're new. I'm going to be releasing more Revelations content really soon. Again, my name is Soupy's Games, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.